Hey guys, welcome to your next movie review update. I'm your host, Richie Orlano, and today we're going to be doing The Hobbit, The Battle of Five Armies. Time is upon us when all must choose which side we are on. We cannot win this fight. I will not hide. But others fight our battles for us! They are my friends. Will you follow me one last time? The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies, December 17th. So The Hobbit came out on December 17th uh, on a Wednesday instead of a Friday, which is a little different. Usually movies can go open up Friday night or if you can early access on Thursday. Uh, it was directed by Peter Jackson. Huge cast, some of the main cast members, we have Ian McCullen who played Gandalf, we have Orlando Bloom who's playing Legolas, we have one of my favorite characters of the dwarves, we have Aidan Turner who's playing Killy. Uh, we also have Martin Freeman, who did Bilbo Baggins, and of course we had Richard Armitage, who played Thorin. Now, the movie itself had a great impact. It was no Return of the King, of course, but The Hobbit, the ending of the series, definitely left you with a sense of sadness that it was over, it's done. The battles were more individualized instead of having a massive battle like in Lord, The Return of the King or The Two Towers, but that wasn't a bad thing. When Thorin play, played against or battled against the orc that was a never ending battle since the first movie, it was epic. The ending was great. There was more main character deaths than, you know, of course, in the last series. I won't tell you who, you'll find out in the movie if you go see it, but it had a good sense of impact. It, it, it left me feeling wanting more. But of course, I knew a sense of satisfaction seeing the series was over. So if I had to recommend anything on this movie, I'd say definitely go see it in theaters, go see it in IMAX 3D, go see it in the big, big movie screen. It was literally lifelike. If I had to give this movie a score, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Reason being, it was a good ending to a series. Peter Jackson did a phenomenal job, again, with the scenery, the, the characters, the action, the whole movie itself the way to end it, and the way it brought itself to an end that opened up to an even bigger series to lead into Lord of the Rings. The way you completed it was definitely a way you could pick up the Lord of the Rings DVDs and watch it again. The reason why it's a 9 out of 10 though is because it wasn't The Return of the King. I was a huge fan of The Return of the King, the battles, the scenes, the story, the characters. However, even though it lives in its shadow, it still deserves a good score. So, if any recommendation, please go see this in theaters as soon as you can. Some upcoming movies, uh, beginning of January, January 2nd, we have a Woman, Woman in Black 2, which is basically her revenge. Uh, we saw the first one, Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, it's basically that this is the se sequel to that, where he leaves, but the Woman in Black remains, and another family is haunted by her presence. Another movie is going to be called Leviathan. Um, not what it sounds like. It's actually a man and his family um, is in a town with a corrupt mayor. His house is getting destroyed. He hires a lawyer to try and defend him, but it only brings misfortune to his family even further. And of course, we're going to be doing Taken 3 uh, with Liam Neeson. This is the third installment to the series and possibly the ending to the series. As you saw in the trailer, his ex-wife is murdered and he has to fight the, not only the cops and the FBI, but also the crooks that killed her. Uh, it's directed by Oliver Megaton, who also did stuff like Transporter 3, uh, Taken 2, and Columbiana. So it should be a good movie. Uh, I did like the first one. Wasn't really a big fan of the second one. Uh, we'll see how the third one takes on. Lenny. Good to see you. Me too. Lenny? Sir, back away! I didn't do this. My job is to bring you in. My first priority is to protect the only one I have left. The FBI, the CIA, they'll find you, and they'll stop you. Good luck. 
So my last segment of the show is of course any movies, reviews, updates, anything that's going on. Usually the information comes from IGN.com or ComingSoon.net. Of course I'm also going to add movie of the year since it's of course the end of the year, last episode before the new year begins. One of the hot topics is of course the interview uh, was taken down to not be shown. Sony removed it from theaters because of the cyber attacks from North Korea to the Sony um, Entertainment Production Company. Obama did state that it was probably not a good idea to take it down, showing the terrorists have won. Sony also said that they thought it was a great idea to take it down due to cause no more injuries so that no one can get hurt. My opinion, I think the movie should still go on, maybe not on December 25th, but on another date. Other news, Marvel wants to reintroduce Spider-Man as a new view and not use the characters they used in the past. It was also negotiations to have Spider-Man show up in Captain America 3, Civil War, but of course she, negotiations did break down and didn't happen. Uh, another trailer came out, it's called Get Hard with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Um, I did see it today, the first trailer has come out, I'll put it at the end of the show. Looks alright, really no laughs in the trailer, maybe it'd get better of time, but it might be one of those comedy movies that doesn't make it, of course. So, those are your news, rumors, and updates that I've received so far. Now on to the more important topic, movie of the year. Now, I've done several movies over the year. Um, some in the high numbers, some in the low numbers, really low numbers. Um, so if I had to choose a movie, it was, it was a hard decision. Um, most of you probably would think that since I gave Guardians of the Galaxy a 10 out of 10, yeah, that would be my choice. Well, you'd be wrong. Although the movie did get a 10 out of 10, and although it was an amazing movie Marvel made and it made a lot of money, it wasn't just the action that got me. It was a movie that set me back a little bit, that gave me a fulfilling feeling, it gave me an impact. So of course, movie of the year for me goes to The Hobbit, Battle of Five Armies. Reason being was that when you go see this movie and it's epic awesomeness, it's going to leave you when you leave the theater with a sense of a compliment, accomplishment, a completion to a series. Sadness for the characters that you lose, sadness for the ending of the series, but also the relationship you grew over time with the characters, getting to know them, getting to know their story. I mean, Peter Jackson does an amazing job, and I am a sucker for his movies, as he is a great director. And a lot of you may argue with me that Guardians of the Galaxy was probably better because of the gross income, the funniness, and the action, but in my opinion, uh, I would have to disagree. I would give it to The Hobbit. So movie of the year, of course, goes to The Hobbit, Battle of Five Armies. Um, side note, uh, as this is my last episode of the year, uh, I'd like to thank all my friends, family, for the support you've given me. Um, thank you again for watching my show. Thank you again for liking my channel. Next year is actually going to be a little different for me. I'm actually going to be doing at least two movies a month to increase my show so I get myself more out there. So please share my video on YouTube. Share my video on Facebook. Please get it out there. And uh, thank you again for all for the support. King's car. Man owns the building. At least we can get his car right. Oh, I have almost no cash. Just $9,000. I got your keys. Just so you know, I would have done the same thing if you were white. That's good to know. Money, 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 money. I'm rolling in the money, 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 money. Buenos dias, Cecilio. There's a water spot. You don't think people can see those? Damn it. Get the roof. James King. Yes? You're under arrest for fraud and embezzlement. I have faith that the justice system will exonerate me. I sentence you to 10 years in a maximum security prison. Did he say 10 years? <laughs> My life is ruined. <laughs> because after 30 days, I'm going to prison. <laughs> it's not as bad as I've heard, is it? Hell yeah, it's bad. Teach me how to survive in prison the way you did. Tell me how you know I went to prison. Given your low economic status. Wait, what? Your perceived lack of college education. Lack of, okay. Statistically, you definitely went to prison. I'll see you tomorrow, convict. Hello? You ready, white boy? Ah! Pepper!
pepper spray, bitch! Prison school is in session. I'm learning so much, this is exactly what I need. What reason did you give him to assume that you went to jail? I was being black. You're not exactly a thug, Darnell. All I gotta do is talk a little deeper. I'm gonna say goodnight. Bitch, don't walk away from me. What the hell did you just say to me? What is that? Stop! Stop! What is that? This is my prison writing this program. You master these skills, you will survive in prison. Let me see what your mad dog face look like. What is a mad dog? Your mad dog! <laughs> ah. <laughs> what are you doing, James? Sad dogging you. I think that's a strategy that could work. Please don't sexually assault me. I'm already too sad. I go hard. Will he survive? Never decease. I'll this ain't no longer your house, man. In peace. I'm a killer. We are saying Quentin now. You're in the wrong part of the yard, white boy. She lost this, eh? I'm very confused. Then go back where you belong. I don't know where I belong. I know where you belong. You belong with me. I don't want that. We do this, we do it hard. I can get hard. As your incarceration expert, this is my job to prepare you. We are about to simulate a prison riot. That was intense, right? Actually, I feel fine. Oh! What? You got a roll, Mayo. Who's Mayo? It's my gang name. It's short for mayonnaise.